it lost its me. I'm like, what is this, Mel Gibson all of a sudden? Come on, dude. <laughs> hey, now lay off Mel Gibson. That's, that's, that's exploitative. Wait, are you saying that he, Mel Gibson has a Jew seller? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, oh. I ain't saying nothing like that. Now, that now, I'm now just saying he's not going to talk about when it comes to gore. Well, I will, I will say this. I, I, uh, given all my complaints about the movie, the music, yeah, sort of this uh, overbearing gothness to it. I really did like it. And it is one of my favorite movies this year. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, I don't, I, I'm trying to figure out why I just, uh, when I thought about it for some reason, I just really liked it. Maybe it's the novelty of it being a very violent, almost horror type musical. The problem is that's about the only novelty this thing's got. It's got lots of other Tim Burtonisms we've seen a thousand times before. It's got Johnny Depp and Elena Bonham Carter in a Tim Burton <laughs> film playing very familiar types of characters. Uh, you know, th- there just isn't a lot new here, really, other than that sort of, hey, gee whiz, kids, it's horror and gore in a musical. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's not a terrible movie. It's probably the best thing Burton's done in a while, but mm-hmm. that's not really saying a whole hell of a lot. But how awesome was Sasha Baron Cohen? Oh, he's can, can, one of the highlights. Yeah, no, that's the, that was that yeah. was one of those things, that one of those performances where he just came out and he was fantastic. Are you talking about him or the giant thing in his pants. I don't know if you noticed or not, but boy was sporting like a kielbasa sausage the whole time. Yeah, like he had a tumor down there. I know. I was like, what in the hell? He was wearing not a there? tumor. Yeah, he was wearing these tights, and I was like, damn, you know, they couldn't give him some jeans or something to wear. Some bag went halfway down his leg. Yeah, I mean, you, it's like he chose that himself. Wait, 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 Leon, did did you notice this? Because I'm I I never noticed this. I don't know. I mean, I guess he was big for a white guy. <laughs> oh. I, I'm just curious why you guys all noticed the shit. package that I didn't know. Hey, don't you ain't got to be gay to notice that, 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 that they put that shit in? No, 3D. but it helps. Uh, well, maybe for you, but it, it, I mean that shit was almost like in 3D. It's like they put that shit on in IMAX. <laughs> you no, know, it, it was listed in the cast on its own. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Sasha Bar- Sasha Baron Cohen and Sasha Baron Cohen. When penis. they told him he couldn't actually be naked in this one, he's like, "Oh, time to get out the sweat socks." Then. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen's penis, but no, in. I don't know what you guys thought about uh, Johnny Depp and Helena Bottom Carter, but I really liked them a lot. I think they gave some great performances. I think Johnny Depp's performance is one of the best ones this year. No, I thought he did a just fine job, you know, but he's Johnny Depp. He always does a just fine job. Yeah, I think that, and I think we come to expect that of him, and we just kind of downplay it when he actually does do well because it's like, oh, that's Johnny Depp. But really, I thought he did great in this. For one thing, he's not a singer. The other thing is, you he ain't kidding. Me, he, but the, that's the other thing. <laughs> that's the other thing is like. The way they rearranged these songs, I actually heard that they rearranged them for Johnny <laughs> Depp, which is okay. I mean, he did a good Drop job. Drop the key. Drop the key. Yeah. Um, do we have a, Is there an R key? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Bring one of the chipmunks in. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'll have salvation, Johnny. <laughs> but uh, no, I. It, but I mean, given that he's not a singer, and for him to actually pull it off, even if they did have to rearrange it for him. It worked. I mean, because I'm not going to blame all the music not working just because of him. I mean, some of those songs are just shitty just because they were. I, I'm, honestly, uh, performance-wise, the only person I was impressed with was the, the little boy. I mean, he, who was an actual singer. I mean, he had a really good voice, and he really carried those songs well. Although his character, you're kind of like, who cares? Go back to the killing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no. The, the who cares was the, the older boy, the sailor, the one who looked like Liv Tyler. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, no, I'm like, is this two chicks getting married I here? thought that's who you were talking now, about. Can, no, can, we, no. uh, can we all at least agree on how hot that blonde daughter was? Can, can we at least agree on that? She had those eh. weird blonde eyebrow things that are just barely there. And it's like, you know what? You look like an albino young Christina Ricci to me. We, just, we can't I agree on anything. Thing. In not a hot way, though. Right, exactly. Just like, eh. Yeah, for them to be talking sing, well, singing so much about how beautiful these women were, I was like, meh, you could do better. <laughs> yeah. They, sh- <laughs> they should have been singing about cleavage because <laughs> that's what she had. The hell with her face. I just kept saying, damn, that girl got some big titties. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, she had a face? That's I, uh, I'm that's sorry. I, uh, yeah, she had a head on her. I didn't know that. But, head? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, why? Thank you. Yeah, Sweeney Todd could cut that clean off. I'll exactly. still take the body. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I take the bottom half because the top half talked too goddamn much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I I don't know. It sounds like the rest of you guys aren't with me on this, but I, I'd give it a, a full price. No, uh, this is definitely not a full price for me. This is, God, I'm really stuck on this one between rental and matinee because there is a lot of good stuff here. I think a lot of people are going to like it. It's just, 
it, I know it's not my type of movie. I don't like Tim Burton. So I think I'm just going to go with my gut and go with Randall. Damn, what did Tim Burton do to you? I just don't Make like his movies. movies. Yeah, <laughs> he keeps making the same movie over and over again. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fully on with you, Cyrus. I mean, yeah, I'm tired of seeing him do the same things over and over. And if these songs had been better, maybe. I'd give it a couple points for being the first emo musical. But um, I got to go Randall on it. Yeah, I, I, I actually enjoyed Hot Topic the musical. I thought it was entertaining. Um, I'm actually closer to Corey. I uh, I really enjoyed this. I don't think it's great. I'm not in love with it like I was with Dreamgirls or Chicago, like you mentioned earlier. But uh, I say it's a strong matinee. I, I, I say it's worth seeing. But if Tim Burton turns you off, don't rush out to it. I, honestly, I will never watch this again. Really? <clears throat> One of the things there I think that probably I didn't mind it being Tim Burton is that this is – Tim Burton's kind of movie. This this is suited for Tim Tim Burton's sensibilities. Everything else, I mean, give him Planet of the Apes. He's gonna fuck that all up. <laughs> well, of course. You know, I'm like, who thought to give him Planet <laughs> of the Apes? But give him Sweeney Todd. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, not for me, man. Come on. The only thing this guy successfully nailed in like a decade is Hell on a Bottom Card. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> why you do that, man? <laughs> Cyrus, why are you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just hope that it doesn't start this whole thing of yeah this should have been goth kid barbers <laughs> you know what i mean like a trend happens after this movie like that's what we need is more goth kids and even worse at the barber shop me yeah. <laughs> this is why i do my own hair people did uh did, i don't know about y'all but i i really like had a taste for meat pies when i left I'd be the kind of dude that would find a toe in my shit, and I would still eat it. Now, I got to say, I actually saw this at a really cool screening where they served us meat pies, and that was that was pretty killer, was like, to eat a meat pie during uh, during uh, a Sweeney Todd. Really? Yeah, because I wanted to go like over to Marie Cullender's afterwards and like, actually request that they put a human toe in my pie. Man, I <laughs> well, got hungry get... after. You got hungry at I Spit on Your Grave, so I don't even want to hear about it from you. <laughs> I'm just recording over what we had, so I don't have to go back and edit it over. Not that we even need it. I just don't want to cut it. Uh, no, we uh, can do Water Horse uh, tomorrow after the movie, after National Treasure, because that's what I'm going to call Edie to come over since she saw it. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Then, what was I saying? Oh, Leon. Yeah, Leon was mad as hell at Tim Burton. <laughs> well, man, I mean, I don't see why you aren't. Cyrus is with me, right? I'm with you. I'm done with this guy, man. He needs to, like, start combing his hair and, you know, I don't know, go teach a class in gay filmmaking or something. I, I, I wouldn't be know. at all surprised to find out that he has stock in a company that, that makes hair gel because <laughs> he's supplying them just by making movies. Well, he's stock in, like, you know, those type of stores that sell little small lunch boxes to girls with too much eyeliner. Now, I've got to gotta ask, um, did he and Danny Elfman break up because uh, – where was Danny Elfman on this? Well, that's another thing that I liked about that about this. There was no big Danny Elfman soundtrack. So. That's the only you know, thing it, I it, like it's about funny Tim because the way it opened, I thought for sure it was Danny Elfman. I was like, well, here we go again. <laughs> you it's, think uh, it, it sounded so much like Danny Elfman coming into it? It's just it's just funny because we are talking about how shocking Sweeney Todd looks, but Sweeney Todd looks like any kid at some fucking goth club. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, on, on any given Sunday night, you can go over here to uh, Elysium and see and see Sweeney Todd in person. Yep, pretty much. Not exciting. Not interesting. Bye bye. But I, but <laughs> I mean, I I swear I had such an urge to grab Helena Bonham Carter by the neck and just wipe her face off. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to do that because her wrinkles would come out, and <laughs> oh, grab okay. you, and right. suck you in. All right. They're barely being held in place as it was. I think she's cute. This is getting me. Leave her alone. Wait, she's a woman over the age of 40. Of course you think she's cute. You're damn right. <laughs> There's like giant rubber bands holding like big flaps of All right. behind her so her face can be stretched tight.